All right, folks, I'm back. I hope you're having a great Memorial Weekend with your family. I hope you guys are staying safe and are enjoying your time together. Folks, here I go again with another beautiful, gorgeous 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor with 148,000 miles and only 547 idle hours from the city of Vallejo, California. Yes, this is a California vehicle. No rust on this bad boy whatsoever. Vehicle has been completely serviced, detailed, and she is turnkey ready to go anywhere. Folks, the vehicle is um, Arizona Beige from Factory. This is the original color. Vehicle does have some minor scratches. It does have two door dings. And then I will go ahead and point this out to you as I make my way around the vehicle. Let me tell you folks, this vehicle looks very sharp and she is in immaculate running condition and shape. Folks, let me stop right here. I do have a fresh new window tint on this vehicle, 20% all around, not too dark, not too light. There she goes, perfect color combo. As you guys can see, I do have uh, two antennas, one on the roof that came with the car, and then one on the, on the trunk. When the vehicle arrived, it was just a hole there, so I went ahead and put an actual antenna. Folks, let me tell you, this is this is the actual antenna. Well, both are. They're not going anywhere. If you need to drive your car through an express car wash, they're gonna stay put. They're not going anywhere. Folks, let me let me backtrack here real quick. Uh, the first door ding is right here. This is the first door ding right here on the rear left door. This is gonna be an E85 vehicle, E85 okay on this particular unit. I do have a brand new uh, OEM police interceptor batch here on the uh, on the trunk fascia. Folks, the whole car looks excellent. The department did an outstanding job taking care of it and I went ahead and finished it, finished the job for them. Before I forget, I got to tell you that all four steel wheels have been repainted, reconditioned, so they are back to new looking condition as if they were if you got the car out of the factory. All four steel wheels, once again, were repainted and they do look new. We gave the whole car a facelift. Stay tuned, I do have a lot of ground to cover. Vehicle also did come with a uh, semi-new set of Firestone Fire Firehawks Pursuit tires. Once again, courtesy of the department of Vallejo, of the city of Vallejo. No spotlights on this vehicle. As, you, as I mentioned before, this was a, a former detective unit, not a patrol car. Folks, I do have a brand new set of uh, original equipment, factory headlamps, uh, factory headlamp assemblies for this unit. The ones that came with the vehicle, they uh, they look yellowish and oxidated. So I, for those of you guys that follow me, I like to go ahead and give you a new set of headlamps every time a vehicle comes in and it does need them. Once again, new set of headlamps, factory by Ford, Motocraft from a co. Let me backtrack here, folks. I do have uh, one little scratch here on the hood. I forgot to mention that. One little scratch in the hood. And the secondary door ding is gonna be right here. Right here in this area. You guys can kind of see it. There you go. It's right there. Okay, nothing but two door dings on this bad boy. Once again, the paint looks great. My detail crew did an amazing job cleaning her up and bringing her back to life from what she was in the beginning. All right, let's go inside. Folks, if you stay here with me on this beautiful vehicle, I do have a perfect interior seat, seat uh, perfect seats. All seatbelts and buckles are in place. Carpeting floor. Factory carpeting floor with matching OEM floor mats all in place. Yes, all four carpeting floor mats floor mats are in place. Rear door locks and switches are in place. So yes, you are able to get in and out of the vehicle with any issues whatsoever. So if you have passengers, 
they'll be able to exit out of the car. I do have electric seats on the front, electric seat on the front. This is gonna be a Charlie 6 rear axle. This is gonna be a Charlie 6 rear axle, 355 gears on that differential. Driver's side seat in perfect condition. Passenger side seat in perfect condition. I do have working cruise control. Honk does work. Electric retractable pedals right here for you guys. We clean this up here real quick. Perfect dash. Little microphone hanger right here in place. Air, condi air conditioner is nice and cold. Folks, these little switches right here, I gotta tell you, the vehicle does have a working uh, clear strobes and wig wax. Once again, working clear strobes and wig wax. And I'll go ahead and, uh, if I do have the time, I'll go ahead and show you how that work. Uh, one key, one key that came with the car, okay? This is it, one key, independent key, this is not a fleet key. Let's go ahead and fire it up. God to get into the battle and take over. Cruise control does work, folks. Honk does work, I showed you that already. Vehicle does have, uh, I'll clean this up here for you guys. 148,000 miles so far. I'm responsible of 86 miles driven and counting, so the count will be a little bit higher because I am driving this one around. 547 idle hours. Take a light, does work. Map lights do work. The blackout option is enabled on this vehicle, so every time you open the doors, this light will come up to illuminate the interior of the vehicle. Okay? Let's go to the trunk. Then we're gonna go under the under the hood. All pressure lights off, folks. No warning lights on this bad boy whatsoever. Not one at all. All right. Oh, before I forget, let me clean this up here. I do have one tear in this area right here. This is where the emergency equipment was installed by the department. I believe it was the radio or siren head unit that was here, and the wires were sticking out through here. So, once again. The, the carpet does have one tear where the uh, previous where previous emergency equipment was installed. That is about it. Ashtray assembly in place. Everything else is in place. Let's go ahead and uh, make it count because I do only have 12 minutes to make it all all count. All right, here we go, folks. If you guys are looking inside the uh, trunk, this is going to be the full uh, spare tire. That's going to be a Goodyear RSA Eagles. Okay, floor jack hold down, hold down pen in place and I do have to move for a uh, neighbor that is leaving. I do have a bracket for a uh, extinguisher over there. Folks, stay with me. I gotta get out of the way for a customer. Uh, for a customer, never mind, for a uh, neighbor. I always choose the perfect time to, to do my videos here. <laughs> always happens at the same time. I just don't know how to avoid it. But let me just park here and continue. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. All right, folks, I'm just gonna stay here for right now. I do apologize for that. Folks, as you guys can see, the whole vehicle has been detailed. The engine bay is crispy clean, and this is something that I like to do myself because I have no room for mistakes. So here she is. Let me clean this up here for you guys. Very quiet engine, the whole car has been serviced, so let me get to that right now, starting right to left. I do have a brand new air filter, throttle body will service and clean out, full synthetic 520 oil service, full synthetic transmission service, Mercon, Motocraft, Mercon LV, that's what you want to use in this vehicle, fluid and filter, nothing else for the transmission, I stick to original fluids, please, I wouldn't do aftermarket fluids because it has different viscosity levels and you're taking a big chance. I vehicle does have uh, the factory uh, silicone fail-safe radiator hoses. I do have a brand new tensioner right there. Pulley, dry belt by Gates. Water pump appears to be in new condition from the department. Intake manifold does appear to be in new condition by the department as well. It looks out like that was replaced at some point. I do have eight new Motocraft Platinum spark plugs. New battery by the department. 
fan shroud, electric fan shroud and module looks to have been already replaced by the department. I did not do this. This was replaced by the department. Uh, transmission uh, correction. Fuel filter was replaced. Rear differential was checked and topped off with 75 140 gear oil. Radiator core support here. Folks, I gotta tell you, I did get him, I did got in between the radiator and the uh, condenser here to clean out the dust bunnies. Why do I do this? Well, there's more airflow. More airflow coming from inside of the vehicle, from, from outside of the vehicle when you're driving it. Every time it's full of dust bunnies here, that prevents the vehicle from uh, breathing or taking air into the uh, radiator to the engine. Yeah, that's the reason why I do that. Don't worry, uh, folks, I do have the uh, radiator cover fasteners here. So don't worry, I'll go ahead and put those in place once I'm all done. Rear brakes are in new condition, so are the front brakes. So the department had the front brakes, front brakes, and rear brakes replaced along with the rotors. So you have new brakes and rotors all around. New brakes and rotors all around from that department, folks. That's something that I got to tell you, they did an amazing job staying on top of the cars. Let's go to the switch here. Position down. Position one is going to activate the rear lights. That's position one right there. Once again, these are clear, completely safe to have. And if we go by the book, they are legal to have. So, position two, if you go to the switch up, one click up, it activates the front strobes and the wake wags. So there you go, folks. This is the Chromic Dark Guy signing off. I have to go. I made it just in time. Folks, if you got any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Thank you. Take care and God bless.